So my name is Robert. I am the Chief Product Officer of HyperQuery, uh, where we're making a doc workspace for analytics. Uh, and the original title of this talk was called Dashboards, Dashboards Everywhere. And it was a super, super cerebral thing where I, I talked about how analytics collaboration is really broken. And I went through this sort of highfalutin logical argument about why it should get fixed. And I used all sorts of things like, um, you know, I used flowcharts and, I'm, you know, I'm skipping it, right? Because it's, it's the last day. Uh, I used pie charts. I used all sorts of, like, jargon from the modern data stack and, like, data over the last uh, year. <laughs> so, you know, just believe that I know what these are. <laughs> no one maybe really knows what they are. Um, and I realized, like, on my third quote from a philosopher that there is no way that anyone has enough coffee and or alcohol in their veins right now to listen to me give that talk. So I threw it away and I started over. Um, this is called put it in a doc. Uh, so I'll be very, very transparent with you. Um, I'm going to basically, I'm a, you know, I'm a vendor, right? Like I work for HyperQuery. I'm a co-founder there. Um, I'm going to sell you our product and our product is a doc workspace. Uh, and I'm going to argue that all the problems that you have in analytics are going to get fixed if you start putting your work in, in a doc. So, uh, you know, I'll have, watch this, hold on. Yeah, so I'll have nice animations so you can all you know, remember what's happening and follow along. Um, and I said I wouldn't pontificate, but I'll, I'll give me like one minute. So just pay attention for one minute and then it'll be back to like memes and spinning and things like that. So um, <clears throat> let me talk about what the problem is. So I'm talking about SQL-based analytics here. I think there's this like workflow around doing SQL-based work, right? Like data engineers, data scientists, data analysts, we all get like questions about data. We're like the gatekeepers of data. Um, and we have great tools to like figure out what our data is. I mean, there's Select Star, there's data discovery tools, there's all sorts of great infrastructural tools. There's dashboards, there's SQL IDs. Like finding data and writing SQL is like our bread and butter, right? It's completely fine. Uh, the problem with these tools is that they don't address the hardest problem in analytics, which is that other people are really freaking hard. <laughs> So working with other people uh, ends up being like this huge part of the workflow, right? Um, so I made a quick diagram. This is the only diagram I promise that I'll, I'll throw at you. Uh, around here is where you actually do the work, but there's all this work around it, right? Like you have to decide like, what's the problem that you're answering? Like you have to actually figure out why you're doing the work to begin with. Um, then you have to start the work and that's, you know, it sounds stupid, but you have to like find what other people have done. You have to like ask your coworkers, like, what the hell is this table? Um, and then later you have to revisit the work when your PM inevitably asks you, like, hey, uh, can you refresh this analysis? And you know, we've all sort of been there. I'm sure we all have like battle stories and battle scars about that. Uh, and all of these things, in my opinion, are just like really broken. Like no one has figured out how to how to make these better. Um, short answer, like use our use our product, right? <laughs> uh, but you know, I'll talk about this uh, one by one. I think with framing the, oh, this is a, this is a, oh, this is so cool. Okay, sweet. Um, so with framing the problem, uh, so I'm a little bit tired too. It's like the last day I've been talking to people for the last like two, two days. Um, so framing the problem, like we often get this wrong, right? Like uh, we often don't answer the right questions. Um, so I think a few of you know already, but I, I used to be at Airbnb. I was a data scientist there. Um, and I had this experience where I, I got pulled into a sort of like startup within a, a, a startup team where I uh, reported directly to, I was on a team that reported directly to Brian Chesky, the CEO, which was fun. Uh, <laughs> but uh, naturally, like, he, he would ask us tons of questions, right? It would be stuff like, hey, how many Olympians do we have? Hey, like, of those Olympians, how many of them do you think will be hosts? But it was, like, never the right question. Like, he was always, like, asking these questions that were, like, things that he wanted to know, but not but really, like he, got, he, had, he and a lot, lots of other stakeholders had really gotten used to this process of asking analysts what data they wanted rather than asking them to, uh, uh, about the actual question that they want answered. So they would always ask for data rather than asking questions. Um, and I realized like, this was just a problem of alignment, right? Um, we never aligned on what the actual, actual business objective was. I was just sort of like a SQL monkey in this process. And so at the end of the day, uh, we wasted a lot of cycles going back and forth and back and forth just trying to answer different iterations on questions that actually didn't matter. So um, that's part of it. Next part of it, starting the work. Um, past work is just not discoverable. You know, I had this like 
workflow that I was really proud of, proud of for all my ad hoc work, uh, so all my SQL work, where I like shoved everything into my local local drive. I backed it up with Git, um, but I could never find anything. Like it was tough to just remember like what tables I'd used. Tough to remember like why I'd written these queries in the first place. Um, let alone find anyone else's work, right? Like nobody else would put their stuff in a central place. Like my stuff was on my drive, but no one else's stuff was on my drive, right? Um, did that sentence make sense? I think so. <laughs> I should have had some coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then finally, past work is not reproducible. Um, so at the end of the day, three months later, your PM comes back to you and says, like, hey, uh, please do this again. And you have no idea, unless you're like really, really meticulous, but I don't think most people are, there's no way that you're gonna be able to like replicate the results in exactly the same way, right? And so the answer is, and now it's gonna get really dumb, <laughs> just put your work in a doc workspace. Um, and so what do we mean by this? As I said, like I wanna make it really, really clear that I am a vendor. Uh, the bias here should be very obvious. We are building a doc workspace. So you know, Notion can work, something like that. But we're building a doc workspace where you can write SQL. Uh, so that way you can write your SQL, do your work, and then put it here, share it, find it later. Um, yeah. Okay, let me move on. Uh, so here you go, spinning, put it in a doc. First point. Okay, so that's the end of the talk. <laughs> um, I'm going to now just walk you through a bunch of scenarios uh, so you can all sort of hear this point over and over again. Um, and I want this to be like somewhat, somewhat interactive. So uh, scenario number one, imagine you are working at Airbnb, um, may or may not be a real scenario. COVID has just started and yeah, people are holding, hoarding toilet paper. It's like, a, it's like the end of the world. Airbnb's numbers have dropped to like zero and like all your stakeholders are now coming to you and they're like, hey, hey, um, in what markets should we like acquire targeted supply to like fix the business, right? Um, so what do you do? Uh, I'll give you guys three choices. One is you make a dashboard. Two is you pull some data real quick. And three is you align on the problem uh, in a doc workspace, which, you know, I'm leading the question a little bit, right? So let's say dashboards. How about dashboards? Okay, okay, a couple of you, good. Uh, who would start pulling some data? Okay, awesome, good. Honest people, I like that. Uh, and then who would uh, align on the work beforehand? Awesome. Uh, you all are either very, very uh, disillusioned about your workflow or very, very meticulous. Uh, but I really think you're just lying, so. <laughs> um, but, and I just want to make myself feel better because I made a dashboard, which, you know, you over there, like, thank you for giving me some, make me, making me feel a little bit better about, about myself. Um, and. You know, this was like a this was a panicked period, right? Like we didn't really know how to answer this question. We didn't really know what we wanted to do, and so like all the data science leaders were like, let's just make a dashboard so people can just figure out like, at least get some access to data, start like juggling the juices a little bit, and and find an answer. Um, the issue was that the dashboard was never used, right? And this is like the title of the talk, like it's dashboards, dashboards everywhere, and we realized that like nobody nobody who's making a decision ever wants to use a dashboard to make the decision. They want like your interpretation on the data, right? This is like why we're, we're, we have jobs as like analytics or uh, data people, right? Um, so lesson there is you should put your work in a doc and that's what we did at the end of the day. <laughs> like we, we ended up, yeah, using the dashboard as a great tool to like explore the data but at the end of the day we created a doc, um, we explained our thesis, we talked about our argument and then everybody had a really great time like making the decision to save the business. Um, yeah. So, second scenario. Um, I'm gonna just keep talking about Airbnb. Uh, second scenario, Airbnb is looking for new business opportunities. Um, you get an ad hoc request, which is, how many tree houses do we have? Uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna pull you guys again. I think, you know, you guys uh, probably get it. Um, what I did was I pulled some data real quick, right? right? Which is like, like the right answer. This is like what everybody does, right? Um, I know what the table is that has tree houses in it, so I, I just dumpster dived and I like ran after ran after that table. Um, and the issue was that like this came with like 50 other questions right after, which were like, "Hey, so that seems low. Can you make that number higher?" <laughs> uh, which is a ridiculous thing, right? Like you can't just make the number higher. But like under that was an actual business question, which was like, "Hey, 
how do we broadly define tree houses so that this is a viable business opportunity? And then that's like a completely different question. Um, we answered that at the end, but we had a lot of wasted cycles trying to like get people to, to actually like tell us that this was the question they wanted answered. Um, and at the end of the day, what you should do is put it in a doc, right? So at the end of the day, like this is the kind of thing that you put in a SQL ID tab, right? Uh, but then we would have wasted a lot less cycles if we had just put it in a doc. Um, so what am I at? Oh, five minutes, okay, cool. I'll leave some time for questions. But um, third one, I used to work at Wayfair. Uh, I was more on the ML side of things, so. Um, I had an algorithm that I shipped, uh, and then month to month, month over month, uh, we found that that algorithm spent, oh god, this was a terrible memory. It's like my first job out of, out of grad school, right? And um, we found like one month the model did very, very well. The second month the model did very, very badly, and we spent like 10 times more than we had the previous month, which is like millions of dollars, right? So I felt pretty bad about this. Um, and I got an ad hoc request, which was, Hey, why is our ad cost so high, right? Which you might expect, like, I mean, everyone, I think I got this like 20 times, right? From, from everyone from like the business stakeholder up to like a VP. Uh, and so what I did was I, you know, you, I felt the pressure. I was like, I need to answer this really quick or we're gonna burn all of our cash. Uh, and, you know, it was fine. It was the right, right uh, question to answer. But the issue was that one month later, I got this question again. And, you know, I, not having ever worked in a data job before, I didn't save my work which meant that I had to redo the old work, which meant that I couldn't actually reproduce that work, and so I had to do the analysis again and then walk back my first inference that I had I'd given to a stakeholder. And this was, this was like by far the worst thing that like had happened to me in that job. It was really, really painful to tell an exec like, hey, um, remember that result from last month? Yeah, actually that like wasn't the right story. Here's, here's the right story. Um, and again, uh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, I, while I answered the right question, uh, it wasn't discoverable by myself. It wasn't reproducible. Uh, and s putting this in a doc or some sort of workspace where this is a little bit more conducive would have saved a ton of work. So again, put it in a doc. Yeah. Um, okay, final one. This one will be really quick. Uh, okay, this is actually while I, I've been at HyperQuery, our, our corporation, um, Customers are complaining about our app performance. This is, we solved this problem, so like, don't think about this as like our app doesn't work. Uh, but I got an ad hoc request from our CTO. How many queries are usually in a doc? Um, what I did was I did it in a doc. You can explain. I mean, like, you can expect like what happened was this is this was great. I got the question again later because our app performance went down again. We had to look at this again, and everything was peachy. Like we had a great doc, which was really, really quite simple, right? Like I just have an objective here, I have an answer, and then we can, oh, by the way, this is really interesting. Somebody made like 52 queries in a single doc. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, God, I'm getting distracted, but who does that, right? Um, if you are that person, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Uh, but anyways, um, the point is that the deliverable was not only high value, it was really high leverage. We could use it again and again. We could find it again and again. And so the moral of the story is put it in a doc. Okay, I think I have a demo here, but I'll just leave time for questions. Um, this is our app, HyperQuery. So it's a doc workspace where you can do all sorts of WYSIWYG stuff, and you can also execute query queries against your data warehouse within it. <laughs>